All right, so we got a little bit of meta commentary on this first one, I believe, if it's the quad, which I think it is. Yeah. So I'm not a fighting an S rank player. I'm in B rank, not that it matters, but I figured I'd just set the stage for this. You can dodge all the stuff that he's doing easily at range. And had I brought maybe a different AC, this fight would have gone way different. But this is kind of what people say is, is like a complaint of rock, paper, scissors sort of stuff. He's running a pretty decent AC. It's got enough defense. It has a lot of energy damage, which I am fairly weak to. And it breaks fairly well because of those shotguns. And those shotguns also have charges. And he can fly, meaning you have, he can force you out in the open to do this fight. Now... This seems like a decent enough uh, game plan. Even though it cracks me through the uh, shield. I thought I had that. And realistically, all he's doing is running a high energy generator with an efficient setup, staying skyborne when he can, and using the quad's mobility to fire the cannons and the charge shots without having to stop. Something I've said since the game's release is going to be a problem. And of course, not shocking, it is. Now, I got no bad build with this guy. I mean, he's an S rank player. He's doing his, he's playing his games, whatever, right? It's not his fault. The builds, you know, it's something I consider cheesy. That's fine. The problem with stuff like this, because there's not anything I can really do here, is pretty much just that. The rock paper scissors of this game gets really bad, and people will complain about like dual etzogens. They'll complain about this guy's build or whatever. And I mean, yeah, those builds when they crop up and they give you their perfect example of what they want are going to give you problems and this might be the next example yeah this guy right here is the other end of the spectrum he's another B rank player like I am right now but he just ran into probably the one thing he does not want to fight a bomb thrower javelin lightweight with machine guns when he's running two different sets of pistols he's going for the ACS brakes and he has no chance. I'm not trying to gloat. I'm not trying to belittle him. But this is not a fair fight. A a like, at all. And this is kind of the problem with this game. And it's going to probably continue to be that way. Like no, Again, no bad blood or nothing. It's just, that's the way things are right now. And there's really not a whole lot you can do about it. You can play the game as smartly as possible. And he's doing a pretty, you know, he's not being silly, he's using cover. But you can still lose that way. You can lose at the garage bin. And I've said before on record, I don't mind that. When it's you cooking yourself. Like in Armored Core, say, Nexus, when you could build something that literally just couldn't function because the radiator wouldn't keep up the cooling of the boosters you sent. I got no problem with that sort of stuff. I have a problem with stuff like this happening. Because Bro, should, he's a he's a fellow like he should have the mobility, he should have some kind of option to deal with the stuff that I'm throwing out there, and I mean he does with the missile. That's pretty much it. And the game goes exactly as I stated in the beginning. It's not fair. He does a good job in the second half though. That's gonna be expected. Bravo, guy. You seeing this and you know who you are. Thumbs up. I mean that's a hard fight. Uh, third fight. Don't remember this one actually. Oh, RJ, yeah. So he's running the bomb throwers as well with some things and pistols. Poke lets. And I guess a bazooka. Interesting combination. You couldn't have gone for that for the finish. Bazooka will work for three. And he's running assault armor. So uh, this this exact problem with this guy's design is a issue of the, what I feel like the player just didn't get a fair uh, match. It's not like the paper, rock, scissors from the first two. I've just been dealing with bomb thrower stuff on lights forever. And I've also run the javelin forever. And this guy is kind of getting the, getting the business because of it. His designs, his theory is not bad. And I know that, but I know those pistols are slow to fire. And again, one of my sparring partners on a regular basis runs two pistols a lot. So I know exactly what to expect from these fights and how to move and get around it. That said... He still tags me several times, and we still wind up having moments like this way more often than I'm, I'm comfortable with. So, to the pilot, good job, dude. Uh, just tweak the build a little bit. And start using the bazooka for more for your punishes than anything else. Fire that thing at the beginning of the match, holster it, go in, 
And by the time it comes up, you get your bomb thrower break, bring out that bazooka and hit it again. Hopefully I'll see you later. It was a good game. Take it easy, guys.